In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, basic skills that is required that will help us to deal with uh, sorts questions like square roots understanding, expansion of sort, and basic conversion of sort. So let's look at uh, the square root because it's basically a same set of number that we'll be going to be playing with at this level. And that is why in order to save time, we're just going to go straight into it and maybe we'll play with two, three to, for you to be able to see. And please, if you are still struggling, understanding the aspect of uh, the indices, you can go back to watch that video one more time. So let's take we have 2. If we multiply 2 by 2, it's going to give us 4. If we take the square root of 4, the square root of 4 is going to be 2. We apply the same case in 3, in 4, 5, up till 10. And if you look at the pattern, they are exactly the same. So when you are solving basic sod, you might multiply the same number and you might have one of these patterns established. Instead of making a repetition of writing square root of 36, square root of 49 or 64, you can just narrow it down to the final answer and move on to the next step so that you don't continue to make unnecessary repetition in your multiplication and number manipulation. So we want to be able to get familiar with this aspect of the square root and that is why I've written them out. So basically, you keep working with this most of the time. And just to be able to bring you to the same level, let's play with a, uh, maybe three or two or three. So I would like to do 11. So let's say we have 11. So if you multiply 11 by 11, it's going to give us 121. So square root of a 121 is a uh, 11 so that give us 11 raised to power 2 raised to power half so we have 11 so if we multiply 11 by 11 it will give us 21 so assuming it's under a square root this is what we are going to get for our final answer and you can try this with me what will 12 be so we we'll multiply 12 by 12 that will give us 144 and let's say we have the square root of 144 we are indirectly saying we have 12 raised to power 2 raised to power half and that will still give us our final answer for 12 and lastly let's try 13 so we have 13 by 13 this will give us 169 so let's assume we have the square root of 169 we are indirectly saying we have 13 raised to power 2 under this and we have 13 so this is what we want to be able to play around with and i know you guys are very awesome you'll be able to fly with this very quickly so let's take the second piece which is a expansion of sword because mostly we take it from what we know to what we'll be applying in sword we will always multiply conjugate most of the time so let's deal with the expansion of sword. So we have expansion of sword. So in this case, a case we have A plus B. I just want to use this one to refresh your memory so that you can see that the same principle apply. If we have A plus B, A plus B, we have uh, four steps to carry out. And this is just a, a repetition of what you already know from our previous video. So we have A multiplied by A is going to give us A squared. And then we have A will multiply plus B. So we have A multiplied by plus B. That will be plus AB. And then here the same thing. That's the third step. We have plus B times A. And that will still be plus AB. And finally, we have our fourth example, fourth multiplication will be plus B multiplied by plus B. And that will give us a plus B squared. This we can 
easily put together as a squared plus a b plus a b plus b squared and when we multiply this when we have this expansion we can have our final to be a squared and this is the coefficient here is one and one so we have two a b plus b squared now this is just to help us see how we do a normal expansion but another thing i want to quickly touch upon before i go to conjugate piece is uh, the sign that we we'll deal with we still follow the same principle when we have plus times plus and then we have plus times minus and we have minus times plus and we have minus times minus so plus times plus will still be plus on that sort plus times minus will be minus minus times plus will be minus and minus times minus will be plus this principle is still vital and we want to give it more attention anytime we are dealing with sorts so that is a very fine point you want to keep in mind let's go to the other expansion that we usually deal with in sort we let's go to number three which is a conversion and it is very important we understand this even though it's very simple but on the objective tests like maths or advanced maths they can really throw a curveball at us so take for example they ask us to convert this back to an irrational number two square root three so all we have to do here is that uh, we multiply this outside number twice so two times two and the one under the uh, sword once so this gives us 4 times 3 and then we have square root of 12 and if we convert it we can always go back here and this will give us 4 times 3 and if we solve it we have 2 root 3 so you can always take it to the front and also walk back let me give you another example that is a 5 root 2 so anytime we have a number outside for conversion we multiply it twice so 5 times 5 multiplied by 2 and 5 times 5 is 25 and then by 2 that gives us 50 if we break it down further we have 25 times 2 and that will still give us 5 root 2 then the third one we have 10 root 5 the number outside is multiplied how many times twice very good so we have 10 times 10 multiplied by 5 any number under the sword will multiply it once so that will be 10 times 10 is 100 that gives us 500 so as you can see in this case we have 100 by 5 and that still brings us back to 10 root 5 so you can see in these instances of the basic sort we can always walk forward and also walk backward the last one i just want to mention that you want to pay attention to is that uh, uh, we want to avoid this common error so these are common error to avoid where we have a plus b it does not equals to square root of a square root of b so we want to be very cautious of this and the same thing here when we have a minus b it is not equal to a minus b this there's nothing in sort that exists this way so we want to keep this in mind thank you very much for watching this video if you are benefiting from this please like the video and subscribe to this channel see you in the next video